Hello, my good friends. It is a beautiful evening now, almost 6.30 p.m. I still see blue skies. The sun was just setting very slowly, and it was a beautiful sight to behold, and I did so with some of my lovely family members. Now, I want to talk about success. I feel that success today is defined by financial success, and I find that to be not a very good way of defining it because I know that there are many leaders and billionaires who are failing at every aspect of life except for the monetary aspect, the financial aspect, and we still describe them as successful people. I did so myself up until very recently. I was looking at money as the most important thing, and that is very dangerous. I find money to be a wonderful tool. I find it to be revolutionary and I find it to be able to liberate people in many ways as long as it is used correctly and if it is used as a tool and if it doesn't consume you, you use it to consume things. And for me, the way I got to make that switch was first of all to have enough money so that I wouldn't have to worry about it all the time. So then you can open yourself up to exploring new things and then to focus my time on meaningful things such as other people, my own self-development, love, spreading joy, spreading education. I feel that it is never found in the materialistic. It is never found in having. It is always found in being. You are not going to be more happy if you're going to have more things. It's got to come from the transformation within. All those tools and all those materials are simply tools and materials. They're nothing more than that, as long as you don't make them into more than that. But they can help you. They can serve you. Do not serve them, please. So, yes, today we define success. Many of us do by financial gain. But here I am proposing a new definition of success. Success that includes all elements of life. That includes health. That includes family. That includes romance. That includes how you serve the world. And I know I cannot do this with my ring finger. I have very bad finger control. It's quite tragic. But let's define success by all these other metrics and let's have the financial metric be but one of many. I advise you to not stop thinking about money, but to try to deal with your money in a smart way, to find a way to make money that is enjoyable for you and to not spend it in an unwise way. I think that you can have a very good life with very little money. And even if you have no money at all and you're still looking for meaning, you can always work somewhere for shelter and food and it might be very meaningful. You know, there's many places you can volunteer at in beautiful, beautiful, exotic places and still find find beauty in life and meaning and, and exploration and meeting new people. But yes, let's define success by all these other things. And I hope that you will find a new definition of success for yourself if you hadn't done so already. Thank you for listening to me and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.